Okay, we're gonna do some tuna nachos. So we are frying some wonton. And that's gonna be our chips. This is a recipe that my little sister gave me. And I'm gonna try it out for the first time. And I wanted to show you guys. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but hers looked bomb. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm pretty sure they'll come out good. So we're frying these little wontons and that's the way they're gonna look. I cut, I'm gonna show you. So they're done really quick. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm frying them in um, peanut oil. You have to fry them in peanut oil, not regular oil. Well, if you have regular oil, I guess it's okay, but she said peanut oil. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do the sauce, the marinating sauce that's gonna go on top. You're gonna need soy sauce, you're gonna need rice vinegar, you're gonna need fish sauce, you're gonna need, oh, the brown sugar that I'm gonna take it out right now. You're gonna need um, one lime, um, pieces of garlic and ginger that I actually did pickled gin, um, ginger and then some scallions and I'm gonna put actually some seaweed salad on it too and then the tuna of course and then we're gonna need the mayo sauce also that's gonna go on top that we're gonna make it ourselves that we're gonna use the sriracha and the mayo and then our chips it was actually I bought the wonton wraps and I cut them in three and that's, and then I fried them in peanut oil and that's how I came up with this, okay? So you fry them as, as much as you want. Some are lighter, some are dark, darker. This is my first time doing it. So let's see how it comes out, guys. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of brown sugar. So there's our brown sugar, one tablespoon. And then we are gonna use two tablespoons of soy sauce. So this is our soy sauce right there, right in there. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of fish sauce, one tablespoon, sorry. One tablespoon of fish sauce. And then we need some of this rice vinegar. So we're gonna use one of rice vinegar. We're gonna use one lime. And then we're gonna use ginger and garlic. We're also gonna use some scallions and then we're gonna use garlic, okay? Just chop it really good. Okay, we're gonna put it in there. And then we're gonna use a scallions. Let me wash these. Let's use one. I don't think we need one. Throw that in there. You could put sesame seeds. I don't have sesame seeds, so I will bypass that. And ginger, I actually got pickled ginger. I'm just gonna cut it in little pieces. My sister did it with um, fresh ginger, but I will be doing it with this one. And then we will whisk this. It's gonna be bomb. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside because we're gonna use this uh, for the top. And then we're gonna move on to the fish, okay? The fish, you could use um, tuna fish or you could use salmon. I'm gonna use tuna fish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in little cubes and I'll show you right now when I come back how I finished cutting it up. Okay, so our tuna, we cut it up and we did little squares like this. You could do them as small as you want. We're gonna cut up a little bit more scallions because we're gonna top it with that, a little bit more ginger and some jalapenos. So this is what we're gonna do. Spread it all around. Now we're gonna get our little marinating sauce that we did. We're just gonna top this. Then we're gonna put a little bit of this on top. And then this is our mix that we did with the sriracha and the mayo. So we came up with this. You could do it as spicy as you want. That's the good thing of this, that you could have the control. And then we're gonna top it with our jalapenos. 
And then you can put a little bit of ginger. I'm just gonna put it in this little corner because my kids really don't like that much ginger. But you could put ginger, you could put anything you would like. And remember, I forgot the sesame seeds that go on top. But there you go, your tuna nachos. Enjoy.